Sutra. Further, suppose there is a third person, up to the point that there is a tenth person, and they are all like this. Within a single thought, they make all the offerings which the person before them made in thought after thought. They use boundless, unequal, uncountable, and in inestimable, inconceivable, immeasurable, ineffable, ineffably ineffable articles of offerings to make offerings to boundless up to and including ineffable Buddhas as well as all the living beings in those world systems, doing so for boundless compass. And after those Buddhas' extinction, they erect a stupa for each one of them, each stupa is high and vast, and in the same way abiding for compass. Disciple of the Buddha, the aforementioned merit and virtue, when compared with the merit and virtue of the Bodhisattva, who first brings forth the mind, does not equal a hundredth part, nor a thousandth part, now a hundred thousandth part up to and including it does not equal one part in an Upanishad. Why is this disciple of the Buddha, the Bodhisattva Mahasattva, has no uniform limit? He brings forth the mind for Nutara Samyak Sambodhi only for the sake of making offerings to those Buddhas. He brings forth the mind for Nutara Samyak Sambodhi to make offerings to all of the limitless, ineffably, ineffable Buddhas, exhausting the Dharma realm and the realm of space throughout the ten directions, in the past, present, and future. Commentary Further, suppose there is a third person. Before it said there was a second person who made offerings like this. Now there is a third person who is also like this up to the point that there is a tenth person, and they are all like this. Each one of them, in the same way, makes offerings to innumerable Buddhas throughout immeasurable compass. They use boundless, unequal, uncountable. They make so many offerings that they are without limit. They are so high that they cannot be equaled. They are without number. They, you can't use numbers to calculate them. In nesting maple means you can't speak of them. Inconceivable means you cannot use your mind to conceive them. Immeasurable means it can't be measured. Also, there is ineffable, ineffable, ineffable articles of offerings, so many that their amount defies the description of language. Those persons use those articles to make offerings to boundless up to and including ineffable, ineffable Buddhas, as well as all the living beings in those world systems, doing so for boundless compass up to and including ineffable, ineffable compass. They make offerings to all of those beings. And after those Buddhas' extinction, after those Buddhas pass into extinction, they erect a stupa for each one of them. They make a pagoda for each one. Each stupa is high and vast. These pagodas are extremely high and extremely wide and in the same way, abiding for compass. They pass through and dwell for compass. They all dwell for a period of time as long as that spoken of before. Disciple of the Buddha, the aforementioned merit and virtue, the merit and virtue which the person before made by making offerings to all Buddhas, when compared with the merit and virtue of the Bodhisattva, who first brings forth the mind, does not equal a hundredth part. It does not compare with as little an amount as one thousandth part, or a hundred thousandth part of the merit and virtue of the Bodhisattva, who has first brought forth the body mind up to and including it does not equal one part of an Upanishad up to and including that merit and virtue from making offerings to the Buddhas mentioned before does not reach the very smallest part of the merit and virtue of the Bodhisattva who has first brought forth the body mind 
Why is this? What is the reason for this? Disciple of the Buddha, you should know. The Bodhisattva Mahasattva, the great Bodhisattva among Bodhisattvas, in bringing forth the Bodhi mind, has no uniform limit. His state is not fixed any certain way. He has no fixed limit or boundary. He brings forth the mind for an Uttara Samyak Sambodhi, only for their sake of making offerings to those Buddhas, all the Buddhas in that many world systems. He brings forth the mind of an Uttara Samyak Sambodhi to make offerings to all of the limitless, ineffably the realm of space throughout the ten directions in the past, present, and future. Sutra, after bringing forth his mind, he is able to know the first realization of the right enlightenment up to the nirvana of the Buddhas of the past. He is able to believe in all of the gurus of all Buddhas of the future, and he is able to know all of the wisdom of all Buddhas of the present. This Bodhisattva is able to believe in the merit and virtue of those Buddhas. He is able to accept it, cultivate it, obtain it, know it, be certified to it and perfect it. He is able to be of an equal, single nature with all Buddhas. Why is this? The Bodhisattva brings forth the mind so that the seed nature of all thus come ones is not cut off. He brings forth the mind in order to fill up all world systems. He brings forth the mind in order to cross over and liberate the living beings of all world systems. He brings forth the mind in order to totally know the coming into being and destruction of all world systems. He brings forth the mind in order to totally know the defilement and purity of all living beings. He brings forth the mind in order to totally know the purity of all world systems in the three realms of existence. He brings forth the mind in order to totally know the pleasures, afflictions, and happiness in the minds of all living beings. He brings forth the mind in order to totally know about the death in one place and rebirth elsewhere of all living beings. He brings forth the mind in order to totally know the expedient methods of all living beings' faculties. He brings forth the mind in order to totally know the activities in the minds of all living beings. He brings forth the mind in order to totally know the wisdom of the three Buddhas of time. Because he brings forth the mind, all the Buddhas in the three Buddhas of time are mindful of him. He will obtain the unsurpassed body of all Buddhas of the three Buddhas of time. And when all Buddhas of the three Buddhas of time will bestow upon him the wondrous Dharma, he will have an equal substance and nature with all Buddhas of the three Buddhas of time. He has already cultivated the Dharmas which aid the path of all Bodhisattvas of the three Buddhas of time. So, he accomplishes the powers and fearlessnesses of all Bodhisattvas of the three Buddhas of time. He adorns the uncommon Buddha Dharmas of all Bodhisattvas of the three Buddhas of time. He completely attains the wisdom of all Bodhisattvas, speaking the Dharma in the Dharma realm. Commentary After bringing forth this mind, after the Bodhisattva Mahasattva has brought forth the Bodhi mind, he is able to know the first realization of the right enlightenment up to the Nirvana of the Buddhas of the past. He is able to understand all Buddhas in the past from their first bringing forth of the mind up to and including their realization of the right and equal enlightenment and their Pari Nirvana, that is, when they enter Nirvana, he is able to believe in all of the gurus of all Buddhas of the future. He is able to know all Buddhas in the future and all of their gurus. And he is able to know all of the wisdom of all Buddhas of the present. He is able to believe in all of the gurus planted by the Buddhas in the present. And so he brings forth the Buddha mind. This Bodhisattva is able to believe in the merit and virtue of those Buddhas. All of the merit and virtue of the Buddhas are the three Buddhas of time. 
he is able to accept it. He is able to believe and accept all of the Dharma spoke by the Buddhas of the three Buddhas of time. He is able to cultivate it. The meritorious conduct with the Buddhas of the three Buddhas of time. He is able to know it. He knows the beings who also cultivate these Dharma doors. He is also able to be certified to it. He certifies to this kind of resultant position and can perfect it. That is, he perfects all of the merit and virtue which have been perfected by all Buddhas. He is able to be of an equal, single nature with all Buddhas. If you are able to cultivate this kind of Dharma door, then you will be equal with all Buddhas. You will be the same as all Buddhas. Why is this? What are the causes and conditions for this? The Bodhisattva brings forth the mind so that the seed nature of all first commons is not cut off. He wishes to continue the Buddha's wisdom life so that the first common seed nature is not cut off. He brings forth the mind in order to fill up all world systems. He brings forth the mind to fully pervade all world systems so as to teach and transform all living beings. He brings forth the mind in order to cross over and liberate the living beings of all world systems. He brings forth the mind in order to totally know the coming into being and destruction of all world systems. He wants to completely know the coming into being, dwelling, destruction and emptying of all the immeasurable world systems in the ten directions. Because of these kinds of causes and conditions, he brings forth the body mind. He brings forth the mind in order to totally know the defilement and purity of all living beings. He wants to know how living beings can recover their purity and how those who are defined can obtain purity. He brings forth the mind in order to totally know the purity of all world systems in the three realms of existence. He wishes to know how the three realms of existence, the desire realm, the form realm, and the formless realm can become pure. He brings forth the mind in order to totally know the pleasures, afflictions, and happiness in the minds of all living beings. He brings forth the mind because he wishes to know what the hearts of living beings delight in, what they like, and from where all their afflictions and happiness originate. He brings forth the mind in order to totally know about the death in one place and rebirth elsewhere of all living beings. They die in this world system and are reborn in another world system. They die in Japan and are reborn in China. They die in China and are reborn in America. They die in America and again are reborn in China or Japan. Thus, turning and flowing this way, all living beings die in one place and are reborn elsewhere. They have certain kinds of causes and conditions. He brings forth the mind in order to totally know the expedient methods of all living beings' faculties, that is, all of their faculties and all of their expedient methods. He brings forth the mind in order to totally know the activities in the minds of all living beings. He wishes to know what all living beings think. This is the kind of principle here. He brings forth the mind in order to totally know the wisdom of the three Buddhas of time, so as to totally know the wisdom of the living beings of the three Buddhas of time, because he brings forth the mind all the Buddhas of the three Buddhas of time are mindful of him. All Buddhas are always mindful of this Bodhisattva. This is like all of you Dharma protecting lay people. Whoever has a sincere heart always comes to Gold Mountain Monastery. Since you are always being mindful of Gold Mountain Monastery, therefore, all of the left home and lay people at Gold Mountain Monastery are always mindful of you. It works both ways. He will obtain the unsurpassed body of all Buddhas of the three Buddhas of time, and then all Buddhas of the three Buddhas of time will bestow upon him the wondrous Dharma. 
The Buddha speak all the various wondrous dharmas for him to cause him to cultivate. He will have an equal substance and nature with all Buddhas of the three Buddhas of time. Having an equal substance and nature is also called being a Buddha. He has already cultivated the dharmas which aid the path of all Bodhisattvas of the three Buddhas of time. He also cultivated all the expedient methods used by Buddhas of the past, present, and future, which help the cultivation of the path. So he accomplishes the powers and fearlessnesses of all Bodhisattvas of the three Buddhas of time. He is also able to bring to perfection the ten powers and the four fearlessnesses of all Buddhas of the three Buddhas of time. He has this kind of strength. The Bodhisattva who first brings forth the body mind also has unreachable and immeasurable aspirations. He adorns the uncommon Buddha dharmas of all Bodhisattvas of the three Buddhas of time. He wants to cause the 18 uncommon dharmas of a Buddha to all be full, complete, and adorned. He completely attains the wisdom of all Bodhisattvas, speaking the dharma in the dharma realm. This Bodhisattva who has first brought forth the mind for Buddhi, attain, obtains this kind of great wisdom. He uses all kinds of expanded methods and dharma tools to teach and transform living beings. Sutra, why is this? He will become a Buddha by bringing forth the mind. You should know that this person is equal with all Buddhas in the three periods of time. He is equal with the states of all Buddhas, thus commons of the three periods of time. And he is equal with the merit and virtue of all Buddhas, thus commons of the three periods of time. He obtains the thus common single body and limitless bodies and the ultimately equal true and actual knowledge and wisdom. Commentary Why is this? He will become a Buddha by bringing forth the mind. He will certainly become a Buddha, that is, obtain the fruit position of a Buddha. You should know that this person is equal with all Buddhas of the three Buddhas of time, because he will certainly become a Buddha. Therefore, he is the same as all Buddhas of the ten directions and the three Buddhas of time. He is equal with the stated of all Buddhas, thus come ones of the three Buddhas of time. Although this person has just first brought forth the mind, yet he is equal with the states of all Buddhas of the ten directions and the three Buddhas of time. These are his accomplishments and he is equal with the merit and virtue of all Buddhas, thus come ones of the three Buddhas of time. He gains the same amount of merit and virtue cultivated by the Buddhas. He obtains the thus come ones single body. He obtains the thus come ones single body which appears in the world. And he, he also obtains the thus come ones limitless bodies. His limitless bodies come into being from uh, the single body and so there is a gatha that says a single body is limitless and limitless bodies are one. He comprehends all world systems and manifest forms which pervade everywhere. There is no place from where this body comes, nor is there a place to where it does. Because of living beings' discriminations, they see the Buddha's various bodies. And he also obtains the Buddha's ultimately equal, true and actual knowledge and wisdom.